Hi everyone, so I came across this very interesting opportunity. Uh, Wish Woman in Silicon Hardware, which is programmed by uh, NSC Talent Sprint and it is supported by Google. And uh, also please note that uh, this is not the program by Texas Instruments. Okay, there is also a program by TI, which is also named Wish Woman in Semiconductor and Hardware. So that is different. This is not the program by TI. This is the program by NSC uh, Talent Sprint and it is sponsored or supported by Google. So let's uh, go through the information about it and let's see for whom this uh, program is. So what is Wish? You can read about it that uh, uh, it is for the third year student, third year woman student, uh, empowering them to be the part of Semicon Revolution. So this is a fully funded program with 100% fee scholarship. What do they mean by 100% fee scholarship? That means once you get selected into the program, you will not have to invest anything from your side. You just need to give your time. You will not have to invest any money. Uh, everything that is that they are going to offer that will be free of cost. This is what they mean by 100% fee scholarship. So let's uh, uh, see more. So there will be 50 seats. You can apply apply before 4th of March. So before 4th of March, you need to apply and uh, you get the access to Google internship opportunities that we will talk about it. We will talk about it later on. So yeah, how will you learn? So once you get selected, what will happen? There will be an online training from March 2024 to November 2024. So this uh, how much how much time is that i guess it is nine months so yeah eight to nine months online training will be there then you will be invited to um, google office be it in hyderabad noida or bangalore so you will be going physically at the google office and then you will have a boot camp of one month then based on your performance it is written that uh, after successfully completing the online training and hands-on physical boot camp participant will be evaluated for potential internship opportunities so based on your performance you will get the internship so here this will be online so even if you are in college, you can do that because this is online, right? Online training it is. And then in December, you will have your winter vacation. So if you are having your winter vacation, you can also go to the uh, Google office physically. So yeah, but your college should provide you internship opportunity here because in uh, most of the colleges, the college doesn't provide internship opportunity for the eighth semester. In eighth semester, they ask you to stay in the college only. But there are some colleges who lets you do the internship but it depends on your college but still even if your college is not allowing you for the internship uh, in the eighth semester i i will recommend you to still apply for that apply write the test uh, give the interview and whatever that that will happen inform to hr they will look at it so try doing it apply for that then we can see we can see later on about it so yeah i would recommend you to apply at least apply okay then let's move on to the Next slide, who are eligible? So you should be, your BTEC branch should be EC or triple E or double E will also work. And uh, your, uh, you should have 70% in 10th or 12th and uh, a woman in third year only. Okay, woman in third year, woman in third year. Okay, and you should have the interest in hardware and semiconductor industry. What is the selection procedure? So first there will be an aptitude test, written aptitude written test. Then there will be an English language test. There. They will see your proficiency in English and then there will be domain knowledge test that means basics of uh, semiconductor they will ask like uh, basics of semiconductor I mean I mean like uh, they will ask you basics of electronics they can ask you analog digital network analysis computer architecture microprocessor all these things they can ask we will discuss about it and then there will be an interview based on your performance right and the selection pro uh, procedure will be going from 11th of March to 18th of March what should i prepare for selection test so here they, they have written that once you apply for the program then you will get the access to some practice test so there by watching the practice test by attempting the practice test you will get to know you will have a better idea of what they are going to ask so once you see the practice test then you will have a better idea but i can't i cannot apply for the program and i cannot see the practice test so now i will give my input but uh, you, you should not be focusing much on my input but you should be focusing much on this practice test but now i will give my input what sh they should be asking but uh, practice test sh should be your priority whatever they are asking in the practice test you will uh, you can expect the same kind of question in the main test as well so yeah give your priority to the practice test but now i will give my inputs so as per me you should prepare well for attitude you can prepare from anywhere cat questions you can prepare or gate question also you can prepare and there is playlist available from my side as well for aptitude so from there also you can prepare then uh, prepare your core subjects like 
what what are the core subjects of electronics network analysis uh, analog electronics digital electronics uh, or basic semi semiconductor physics these subjects you can prepare and if possible try to learn computer architecture and microprocessor as well this is just my input once you go through the test and if you don't find any question from computer architecture or microprocessor or digital electronics then don't no need to prepare for that this is what i feel this is what they would be asking just my intuition this is just my intuition but once you go through the test you will have a better idea so this is just my intuition and basics of c and c plus plus will also help for the interview not for the interviews for the written test for the written test here i should have written for written test and then in the interview whatever that you have written in your cv you should be prepared for that and uh, you should be prepared with the, your cv and also just uh, uh, just be confident with the fundamentals of, of the subject, whatever that uh, was asked in the written test. Let's assume they are focused much on network analysis, analog electronics and digital electronics only. So you should be comfortable with, those, with the fundamentals of those subjects. What do I mean by fundamentals? Like if you are studying about uh, network analysis, then you should be good enough with the RC, RL circuits, uh, RLC circuits, uh, basics of network theorems uh, and uh, for analog electronics, like you should be comfortable with the um, MOS physics, uh, MOS amplifiers, uh, diode circuits. Uh, and uh, even op-amps and if they are talking about digital electronics then you should be comfortable with basics of uh, digital electronics like boolean algebra k-maps and all those things and then combination sequential counters all these circuits so you should be comfortable with those circuits this is just my intuition whatever they are going to ask in the written test those subjects only you need to prepare for the interview but i don't think you will get much time for the interview you will get around two to three days only for the interview so yeah just be prepared uh, this practice test are the most important part just attempt those practice tests. after that you will have a better idea Right. And one more thing I would like to tell you here, they are saying that uh, based on your performance, you will get the internship in this slide. Uh, participants will be well treated for the potential open, uh, internship opportunity. So uh, I, we cannot guarantee you that uh, this will be uh, that uh, you will be giving the internship in the you will be given internship in the Google itself. This is not the guarantee as far uh, this is what I feel here because they haven't specified the name Google here, but they will certainly give you internship in some good industry only like uh, they will give you uh, internship in big mnc only but uh, i don't think they have uh, like they have uh, given the name of google here but uh, this on site uh, uh, physical bootcamp is happening at google only right so most probably you should be given internship in google itself but still there is no guarantee that you will be given internship in google only so what i would what i want to say here is that like uh, don't hamper your placements uh, it's not that you should be blindly preparing for it and skip your placements like in uh, august or september only in august september 2024 you will be having your placements right in nit's placements will start so don't skip your placements just for this program you should be giving time to this program that, that's for sure you should be giving your uh, you should be giving your best to this program if you are selected but uh, uh, don't hamper your placement preparation as well so like not pretty sure that you will be getting the internship for sure this is also not sure and if you are getting internship it is also not sure that you are getting it in google itself okay they have just written the name that you will be getting the internship but not sure about google but on site is happening on google only this uh, this is sponsored by google itself so yeah there is high probability that it will be given in the google only so yeah so this is just my input so the complete notification i have told and the link i will uh, put in the comment section so from there you can apply apply before 4th of march apply before 4th of march okay so quickly apply for that this seems like a very good opportunity as per me so yeah you should be applying for that and if you have any other query you can let me know in the comment section and also let me know in the comment section if you have attempted that test uh, these tests these practice tests yeah if you have attempted these practice tests also let me know what they are actually asking in the practice test so that i can guide you better about that okay so do attempt those practice and let me know what they are asking okay thank you